Watch out for these trucking scams, part one. This one is called the lost trailer scam. A lot of companies participate in this. All right, all right, all right. Back in the building, my girl, Zippor. Man, we, we just can't help but to react to some of the crazy shit that we see on TikTok. So what's going on, Zippor? Oh, nothing. Resting. Mm. That's about it. Well, let, let's, let's start off. Uh, let's let's start off with our favorite TikToker, uh, okay? The uh, the most hated. You you know I got blocked. I got blocked from her today. Yes, I, I heard. Yeah, <laughs> she she blocked me. Like I I you know like I said I still I you know I still go over there and I watch this like you know everybody you know I'm not gonna say that I don't but. I watch, you know, some of the stuff that she had going on over there is, 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 is interesting. But let me ask you this question. Now, you know, we all know what she has done. You know, she's the, she's the most popular snitch right now. But I, I, I think that by her taking, she took down the video, by the way. She took right. out, she took down both of her videos. The mm -hmm. the one video that she bragged about the beer and the other video where she rebuttaled to everybody about bragging about the beer. Okay. Right? So just to give people uh context of what we're talking about, our favorite TikToker, the most hated, she made a video uh uh a while back talking about uh, you know, what she saw at the truck stop. She saw a driver buy some beer. She called the company and and eventually got the driver fired. Now, do we yeah, know? Yeah, don't forget she took a picture first. Oh, yeah, she took the picture. Mm -hmm. But but do we know if the driver really got fired? I don't know, but she came on. She did a video and came on and bragged about her snitching. Now, a lot of people came and gave her some hate. She went back. I guess she must have had uh, had some people to get in her ear about cleaning up her page. She went back. She took down both of the videos. And now her page is all about positivity and cleaning up her image. Now, mm -hmm. support if you hadn't have seen the video, because there, she's up to like 5,500 followers. But if you hadn't seen the video prior to her making the making a brag, the snitch video, what would you would have thought of her then if you hadn't have seen that video? I would have respected what she said and I would have listened to probably most of the things she said. And if it would have been anything that I didn't agree with or I thought could have been said better, I would have commented mm -hmm. on it. You know what I'm saying? Because she does get a lot of positive feedback. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even when she made the video about being the streak, about talking to other truck drivers, she got a lot of positive feedback from that. But mm -hmm. I probably would have actually listened to her if you would have introduced me to her like you did before. Mm -hmm. But when I got introduced to her, I got introduced to her as being a snitch in trucking. <laughs> so her image is shot with me. And I don't know if I can get that back. It's like her voice irritates me. Right. You know, I just, I don't know. I might have would have listened to her and probably followed some of the things she did now you know now of course by her trying to clean up her image uh, you know she, like i said she's up to like 5500 you know followers i did reach out i did get a chance to reach out to her but unfortunately we didn't uh we didn't connect i mean you know we connected in tiktok but you know unfortunately that uh conversation didn't fall through I, right. you know, I would wanted to know what was her mindset, not on snitching because they're snitching and trucking. Period. Let's be honest right. with that. You know, let's let's just put that out there. Snitching, right. snitching on, on the CB, snitching to your company, snitching and trucking. Period. It's just out there. You know, right. so she's not the first and definitely not going to be the last. But she was the first to put it out there that. She's a snitch. I, she probably might not known that she was snitching, though. 
Oh, come on. Are you serious? She might not have known she was snitching. What, I mean, okay, so what do you call it when you take a picture and call somebody job and then talk to the safety department? What do you call that? Is there another name for it? I'm confused. What do you call it? Well, she 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 calls it being a good, safe driver. A yeah, cons- okay. A concerned driver. That's what she calls mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. But anyway, anyway, um, I got blocked. So, you know, I don't have no access to your to your page, but I I do. I'm just saying. <laughs> I have right. I, I do have one uh more than one TikTok account. I'm just saying. You might not know who I am by the Lockout Men podcast show, but I do have one. I I do have more than one TikTok account, and then people saying. send you her videos. So yeah. her blocking you is not proving anything. Yeah, say for example of the videos that we about to react to today. So okay. she's again shout. I'm I'm gonna say shout out to her. You know, for trying to clean up your image. I I get it. <laughs> You know, like I said, somebody must have been in your ear, maybe your company or whatever. You know, you claim to be in the trucking for over 20 years. I respect that. I even, shit, 20 years in the game. I'm, I'm sure you've seen something. You know, and I, I, I wouldn't mind, you know, well, bringing maybe you on the show. Maybe she's been whole 20 years. It, ooh, damn it. Zippo. And she just decided to put it on social media when TikTok came into play. You, you, I just recently learned about TikTok. But anyway, she, you know, like I said, I, I haven't even heard of her. I, you know, I haven't seen her on YouTube. I haven't seen her on Instagram. I haven't seen her on, on, on Facebook. TikTok is where she came from. Okay. So she's, she's, she's doing pretty good, you know, after her image cleaning and, and, and taking down the video. But let's, let's, let's listen to her series called trucking scams part one watch out for these trucking scams part one this one is called the lost trailer scam a lot of companies participate in this Mm. what they do is they'll send out a mass message to all of their drivers saying that they cannot locate a trailer or a trailer has been lost or stolen they will tell you to look for this trailer number and there is a 500 hundred dollar reward or whatever reward they decide to give once you call it in and you stop what what kind of scam is that i i've been in this game for I, i've been in this game for six years and i, I have, have no I, idea. I, I have i have never heard of a of a trucking company sending out a mass uh trailer uh search right now when i was working for us express they had a lease purchase driver actually steal a whole tractor Mm-hmm. And he did whatever it was he was going to do. They last, it was last spotted in Mississippi on the GPS. He did mm-hmm. whatever he was going to do with it and took it to Landstar. But see, the thing with Landstar is if you don't have the trailer number, they cannot locate the tractor for some apparent reason that what you was express was saying. So they had a $500 reward if you could uh, try to figure out the trailer that the guy was hauling so they can get the truck back and that was in 2019 so i don't know whatever i don't even know what happened with that but i've never heard of a trailer scam i i never heard of a trailer scam either i mean i, I don't know what that is you know i i i work for you know i work for like four companies and all the companies i work for got gps is located yeah, exactly. on their trailers. yeah yeah mine do too they got gps is on their trackers so, and their trailers so they they mm-hmm. will be they they will be able to find where the trailer at now there probably might be there probably might be an issue of somebody taking the taking the 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 gps GPS off off of it right i don't even know where to look for that at but yeah that's true but then again i i wouldn't even i wouldn't even consider that as a scam because if it was legitimately lost and they put out a mask uh a mask uh email you know Mm -hmm. search for it then you know, I you know, I I think that will be legitimate if it's legitimately lost. Let's let's right. let's listen in to some more. Give them the trailer okay. number. They will say something like, "Uh, well, somebody already called it in, but thanks so much. We appreciate it." 
and you're out of the money. And that's because they never intended to pay you in the, in the first place. So let me show you how you can get around that. Whenever they send out a message telling you that there is a lost trailer or stolen trailer, this is what you do. You do not call in. You respond with a Qualcomm message, a text, or an email. If you don't know the appropriate person to contact, then ask. And then you send that message directly to that person. Hmm. Sometimes that person will try to call you and ask you. If they do call, you say something similar to, well, has anyone claimed the reward yet? Or is the reward still available? Has someone else called it in? I just want to make sure that the reward is still available. And you just keep pushing that very politely, very gently. Hmm. And they will try to say, well, um, actually, I really don't know. But just go ahead and give me the trailer number anyway. And then you will say, well, um, I, I just want to make sure that no one has called it in. So can you just send me a message over to Qualcomm letting me know? if someone has already claimed it and if not then uh tell me that no one has claimed it and then that way we can get we can get the trailer back into that sounds so irritating isn't it her whole voice is irritating That's, that sounds so <laughs> irritating like you know you you going back and forth on a call con well here you know did anybody request the money yet did, did anybody do that did, did anybody do i mean if you found the trait if it was legitimate and you found the trailer and you you put it in a Qualcomm message and say, hey, I found the trailer. Here's the trailer number, yada, yada, yada. Is the, is the reward money still available? And then they'll be like, yeah, the reward money is still available. Where the trailer at? All right, right. well, the trailer is right here in, in Boomfuck in front of, uh, in front of uh, Family Dollar. Still got the load in it. Mm. Oh. That's an abandoned trailer. That's what that is. Right. Okay. All right. Lock out here. You. All right. Boom. All right. Uh. Boom. Lock out men. Found the trailers. Uh. Bam. Bam. Boom. And pay him. What's What's all this back and forth? This chick talking about, man. So why would the company not give you the reward if you found the trailer? Exactly. Even if even even if you called it in, like I mean, if you even if you called it in. Like, yo, I'm standing here. I see the trailer and who, you know, I can under, I, I get the part on who to talk to part. Uh, let me talk to somebody in safety. Yada, 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 yada. Right. Done. Boom. Okay. I, I mean, it's just so irritating what she was saying, man. She got a few more. Hold on. Rotation. And that's how you beat it. And like I said, you can just kind of pick and choose, mix and match, take away, you know, give, take away from what I've just said. But just make sure that you get it in writing. Because remember, I stress, get it in writing. If it's not in writing, it never happened. And once you get it in writing, make sure that no one has called it in. No one has claimed the money. Then, you, then and only then, do you give the information. And if you like I mean, why, why would you hold why, the information why would you hold the company? Inf yeah, why, why would you? Especially if you found the trailer. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> she got some she she got some positive she got some positive feedback. Um she got some positive feedback. Uh, mm -hmm. let me see. Somebody said JB Hunt does this all the time. Uh this one right here says you can teach us something valuable out out the mechanics of professional operation of trucking. That's mm. what people need to hear. Huh. See, this is this is probably coming from people that's not even in the, that's not even in trucking. Right, probably don't even have a CDL. Yeah. Uh, this one right here, this one right here says JB Hunt drive vans for Amazon account. Driver used to take them, take them a year at a time. So maybe maybe JB Hunt has a problem with this. Maybe you know that's probably about a hint. I ain't gonna go into detail, but that might be a hint. JB Hunt. Right. You know. Our our, <laughs> our probably not paying. Our our favorite most hated trying to clean up her image, man, with some with some trucking tips for that ass. Yo, <laughs> she that that was that was trucking scams part one. She How has it a scam though. Because they won't they trade and they're not gonna pay you. Uh Exactly. I, I don't I I don't think it's a scam. No, I don't either. I, I don't think it's a scam. Watch out for these trucking scams. Part one. This one is called the lost trailer scam. A lot of companies participate in this.